Here's a question for you. How old is too old to let your child sleep in bed with you? Some parents will tell you, hey, the kids never crawl into bed. But then there's Alicia Silverstone, the actress, who unapologetically said during an interview that her 11-year-old son still co-sleeps with her. So as you can imagine, that caused a big stir. But is it dangerous or is it hindering development? In this week's Mom Squad, I talked to Dr. Carolyn Ivers Landis about it and asked her if it's an indication of separation anxiety and what parents should do about it. If you are sleeping because your child is anxious, then you're accommodating for their anxiety. You're not helping them get over that. You're not helping them move on from that. Just like if your you know, child is afraid of the water and you never took them to the swimming pool or encouraged them to swim, right? If you're always like, oh, they're afraid at night, so I'm just gonna always co-sleep. Well, then you're not working on behaviors of how to self-soothe, how to feel comfortable by yourself in a bed and things like that, which are important you know, for your child to learn those. If your child really is having trouble sleeping, you can ask your pediatrician because Dr. Ivers Landis says there might be something like severe anxiety or a melatonin issue. But overall, she says there's no danger with co-sleeping with your child of any age. It's just probably developmentally inappropriate when they get older. So if you do have questions about making sure that your kids get out of bed, no matter what the age, maybe you have a toddler who needs some help getting out of there, download Mom Squad Pod wherever you get your podcasts. We also stream on our streaming channel now.